We can skip it, five. Doesn't say where. Oh, we'll just skip the countdown, shall we? No, no, let's just let it go. Let's go. It's a long one. I thought it was going to be five seconds. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, ow, ouch, oh dear. Right, I think, I think things have gone badly. I, I'm going to be honest with you. This is, we, we've had better. We've had better situations. Welcome to a new sort of series on the channel. It is Kerbal 2 Space. We're going to be playing Kerbal Space Program 2 in its early access world. Hopefully we're going to achieve some things. We're going to try and do some basic things for the first few episodes, but please comment down below, like, subscribe, and tell me what you would like to see me try. This is all brand new for me. I am not going to play the tutorials. I probably should. Let's get going. We're going to take it slow. We're going to take it easy. We're going to get to orbit. We might try and go a bit further, but here we are at the KSC. Look at all this beautiful space. Space. Oh, look what's this. We've got the, the VAB. We've got the launch pad. Let's go build something, I think. All right, so in the VAB, what we're going to start with, well, we could go for the little tin can, but I fancy something a bit bigger. Let's go for the, the Mark 1 3 Gumball 3C command pod. Let's go with that. We will probably need a decoupler of some sort. So you can see this is like, is this the right size? Yeah, medium size because it's that color, so that matches. Oh, docking ports. Do I want docking ports? Uh, we, we, ooh, let's put a. Is it, no. That, that looks interesting. We'll put a docking port on. Whoa, there's some extra. That's a huge docking port. Wow. We probably need a heat shield. All right, so thermal protection. We have a big section on heat shields. And there's, what's this? We've got an, a deluxe inflatable heat shield. How, how do, 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 will that show me? Will that show me how big it is? Oh, that is quite large. I don't want that. We're going to go for the medium heat shield. There we go. We'll put our little decoupler underneath. So fuel tanks we have, let's have a look. We've got all these different size fuel tanks now, and we in different things in them. So we've got methylox, methylox, oh, they're, they're broken up. Okay, so we have, we have methylox, we have methane, don't need that at the moment, don't need monoprop, I don't think. We might want monoprop, actually, we'll open that up. Yeah, don't need to, you know, fuel lines will be good. We've got, we've got hydrogen tanks. Okay, so we're gonna start with, let's think, something medium size, medium, medium size, something, ooh, I wanna go, that, there we go, that one there, that looks okay. Probably some sort of engine, a little, I've got the equivalent of the old, there we go, the poodle, the poodle's been recreated, how exciting. So we've got 2,500 meters per second. I think we're gonna start off with like a little Saturn type mission. So um, we wanna start off like Saturn, Saturn 1B or something, we'll practice docking or we'll, we'll have something you can dock. Let's have a look. We don't need methylox. I want myself a little monopro. Oh, they've all reopened. That's interesting. Oh, you can't attach them on the bottom there. Okay, that's interesting. Let's go through the symmetry. There we go. We've got four-way symmetry. Like, in fact, I don't want to put them there. I want to put them on the fours, like so. Rotation and translation. Okay, so I would like to rotate you. And I'd also like to rotate you. Uh, and then I think I want to rotate you uh, this way. And then I want to move you. How do I go between the different sorts? Alignment assembly button, alignment locally, but oh, okay. Align, align locally, there we go. That's better. And then can I can I move that in? There we go. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? There we go, we can we can see them. Let's uh, let's get back to building some stuff, I think, uh, that, that one. We shall go for another stack decoupler like before. There we go, stick that in there. It's not telling me, it's not telling me I've got any, what, what is this? Oh, interesting. You're doing like that. If we put that there. Put that there. Hmm. Interesting. It doesn't seem to want to tell me what the delta V is on that stage. So that's 2,500. Um, I quite fancy going for a little flyby of the moon. Oh, they've got some decouplers over there. We get, get rid of those. So next step, I want some bigger tanks and I want some bigger engines. So what have we got else? Is it going to tell me my thrust? It's not telling me my thrust, is it? So we may have to go big, big. Methlox, let's go with a, a big one. And I think... Is it, is it telling me my thrust? How do I, I can't scroll up and down. That's interesting. Engineers, oh, engineers report, what's that say? Has a command pub and no parach mm, parachutes. Probably be a good idea. Uh, thrust to weight ratio is less than 0.1. Vessel will not live. Well, how do I how do I figure that? Can I get more information on you, please? Is that is that possible? So it's now giving me information there on that one. Interesting. Oh, and this is the this is the parts manager. How exciting. And then I think, you know what we're gonna do? We're going to just duplicate the whole thing. Put it, oh, you can duplicate. Wonderful. We're gonna put that there, and um, we're gonna put the you're gonna put the main sail underneath. There we go. Superb. Oh, I can I can pick it up and move it. How exciting! I would really like some parachutes now. Where are they? Oh, communications might be useful. Uh, probably need parachutes. Let's have a look. Where would parachutes be? Where would you put parachutes? Thermal, electrical, utility, parachutes. Let's have a look. Um, 
I would like a radial mounted, radial mounted parachute. What's that one? That's a radial, it's a parachute. And then this is a drogue parachute. Do I need it? I don't need a drogue parachute, I don't think. I think we just need a, a, a radial. Yeah, we'll go radial. Um, put them, put them there. There we go. Isn't that, oh, that's lovely. That's beautiful. Probably would help if we had something for electricity, wouldn't it? That would probably be a good idea. Have we got, let's get some electricery somewhere. Let's have a look. Have we got solar panels or something like that? Um, small, medium, little tiny, bally things. Oh, I like these ones. These ones are cool. Let's put these on. Uh, I want to go magnetic -y. I'm going to put them underneath here. There we go. Wonderful. And then what do they like when they are retracted? Retra I want it. So do they? That's cool. I like that. We'll do that. There we go. Right. Now, how do I choose my Kerbals? Kerbal Manager. Who do we... I'm going to empty that. We're going to send... Let's have a look. Um, I hate to say it. It's going to be Jeb. It's going to be Bob. It's going to be Bill. They're, they're all going to die. That's the way it's going to work. Right. We probably need some launch claps. Actually, we will add in... Let's see if we can do this. We'll add in a reaction wheel because I have a feeling this thing is going to be interesting. Right. So two, three, four, five, six, six thousand, six and a half thousand meters per second. Probably, probably should be okay. Let's check the old uh, engineer's report. What's the engine? Part manager, go away. Engineer's report. Thrust to weight at the start is 1.4. Okay, that's uh, that's a bit high actually. We could, uh, we could, we could, we could, we could make the craft a little bigger. We could, we could go bigger. In fact, we're going to go bigger. Put another tank on it. Would probably help if we actually had some 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 actually rcs control -y stuff because we've got rcs on this four of those on they can go uh the four corners because they look like they stick out sideways we'll also have another set of them we'll put them down here just to give us um ultimate control launch clamps well i don't know where the launch clamps are apart from the fact they're in the clamp section that, that's what i do i've done a search there's a search function for parts that's brilliant right so i think we're ready it's um it's definitely a craft it's definitely going to be saved i think we're ready to launch now we should have the timing countdown start thing. So let's let's try and launch this using all the skill of old KSP. So we've got we've got Jeb, Bob, Bill. This is like the first crew ever. We're gonna put the throttle on. Is the throttle on? I think the throttle is on. Yeah, there we go. That's the throttle on the left hand side. How exciting. Um I think we've got everything good. Um I think we're gonna go for it. Ooh, countdown. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe check the staging. We've got a countdown. We can skip it. Wait, does it tell me where I am? Five? Doesn't say where. Oh, just skip the countdown, shall we? No, no, let's just let it go. Let's go. It's a long one. I thought it was going to be five seconds. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, ow. Ouch. Oh dear. Right, I think I think things have gone badly. I, I'm going to be honest with you. This, this is we, we've had better. We've had better situations. Yeah, I think possibly a bit wobbly. Let's try that again. I'm not sure we need the countdown. Let's go. Ooh, we are launching. We're going up. We're actually going up for once. This is this is good. This is a good start. I say start. It's not the start. All right. Heading on up there. Ooh, this is exciting. Where, where's my where's my stuff? Where's my details? Oh, the surface is there. Above ground is there. Periaps, aquaps, it's okay. Current speed. Oh, it's weird going down over here. Um, we're at, uh, we're at, uh, can I click on that? Can I, oh, that's the orbital speed, okay. So I'm going up, I'm going to start turning a bit. Oh, I can see the fuel over there. That's interesting. So I can see the fuel, these little things. So there we go, we're going to start turning just a smidgen. I turn my RCS off now. Uh, I had it on at the start because we had that first incident. Um, right. SES is on, but it doesn't seem to be very good. Um, I will be honest with you, the SES seems a little bit twiddly. A little bit like it doesn't want to play well. It, it actually reminds me of early KSP1 with its uh, stuff. So we're up at an apoapsis of uh, 10. 
up. Keep it going. Keep it going. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on. Why is it turning so bad? I suppose I don't have very good design on this craft. Right, the SES is having a problem. Uh, put me on prograde. Right, I'm on prograde. Maybe it's just manual control it doesn't enjoy. That's possibly it. It possibly doesn't like manual control. Right, the, the loudness of this is good. We've got a stage going. Why is it not decoupled? Um, what is that? There? Is that that decoupler? Where's where? It, well, that's that decoupler. That's that decoupler. Why is this one not decoupled? Why am I attached still? Decouple. Decouple. What on earth? How is that stuck there? Huh? I'm not happy about that. Are we gaining speed? We are sort of gaining speed, but I'm not I'm not I'm not happy about it. There's that one. Just get rid of that. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna turn this off from that, run it onto just SAS, and I'm just gonna manually take a bit of control because I wanna try and get us up a bit more. Um yeah, I, I, I'm a little concerned about how low we are. Let's get rid of the parts manager. Uh, right, crew. I, I would like to get you into orbit, but I'm a little bit concerned that we are approaching the old. Um, yeah, this is this is very odd. Why is that still attached? Is it oops, Does that mean the same problem is going to happen up here? I mean, mm, it's not upside down or something, is it? Because that would be really annoying. That would be very annoying. Right, we are firing through it though, so that's a positive. Now I'm assuming that uh, the, the uh, out of the atmosphere is 70 kilometers, as it always has been. But we will see. Um, I like in the sound. I do like the sound. Interesting title of the crafter. Interesting. Uh, escape to menu. We got over here. We got messages. What's this? Lights. Oh, I can turn lights on. Can I? What's this over here? What's this? Solar panels. Don't need that yet. Um, what are these things? So prograde, let's put us on uh, prograde. Um, how much fuel have we got left in this stage? Quite a bit. There's quite a lot of fuel left in this, nine remains per second. So we can we can rock it up a bit and rock it up a bit. This is very strange. It's it's not as maneuverable as stock KSP, which is interesting. It's more like um, RP1, actually, um, which is odd. Um, does it have the ability to the throttle down? Maybe it does, I don't know. Do I need more RCS for control and things? Is the question. Um, turn. Can I turn that? Can, give me. What is this? What is this? What does this do? So if I do that, is that going to? What's that? Stability on. Ah, right. Okay. You choose what thing it is. Have I just missed that previously? Right. We're gonna shut that down. Right. Let's have a look at the the map view. How do I get to the map view on here? Um. Map view? Map view? Where's map view gone? So that's parts manager, flight report. Where's the map view? Track, tracking station, map. That's the one I want. Right. Let's put us into orbit. So um, create maneuver plan. Uh, what is that? Uh, that one. Is that is that going to work for me? What's my periapsis there? Can I, can I, can I? Yeah, I get that's curbing. I get it's curbing. I'd like to know what my periaps is going to be. Wow, it's very sensitive. What's this? Oh, if I don't do something, I'm going to crash, am I? Right, I'm about to get above the ground. So there we go now. So let's just do a, a prograde. Let's have a look. Is that going to give me my periaps? Do I have to hover over it? Why, why won't it tell me what my periaps is going to be on that? This is annoying. That is quite annoying. Why is it not telling me my periaps? Oh, you you have to got to click on it, have you? No, I want to do periaps. Give me periaps. But you've got to you've got to sort of hover over it, right? Okay. So then, if we click on this one and do a little bit more, this is going to get annoying. I can tell already, right? What are you now? That's sixty-one. Need more, 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 more. I'd like to be able to uh, to actually see what's going on. So if I do that until it circles, there you go. Right, that's about right, isn't it? That's at the 100, so that's about circular. Right. And then we'll jump back to the craft. 
and I'd really like to put my solar panels out. There we go. Oh, that's nice. I like the solar panel thing. Oh, that's really cool. Does that... Oh, how beautiful. How beautiful. That is nice. I like that. Right. Yeah, walk, walk me to that, please. Oh, that's come off. Now, what's going on with that? That's now decoupled itself. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it? So, we've got required delta V 116. Stop burning zero seconds. Start burning something else seconds. Okay, and it says it's going to use some parts. We're going to use some bits. What's the go button for? Why have I got a go button still? Oh, it wants me to do it. Okay. There we go. We'll just do that. And do that. And then fire that engine. Oh, that's cool. That is a cool thing. There we go. Right. What's my app up's purpose? It's not bad. Not bad at all. Let's put us on the normal. So there's Mun. Let's uh can I can I target Mun? Hello, hello ha. Can I can I have you? I has I has mission come see you. Right, let's have a look. We'll do this the old fashioned way then. So we'd come over the top of here. We're gonna create maneuver plan. Right, there we go. And then we're just gonna go for it. Okay. Let's get this out there. So that should let's see what happens here. What's it gonna look like? Uh, it's not going to look like anything. We're not going to actually uh, meet the moon, are we? Okay, that's interesting. What about if I do this a bit? Nope, that's not working. Because um, we're not out far enough, that's why. That's why it looks like... There we are. Oh, look, you can see. So what's the periaps there? 1,000 kilometers. I must say, this is this is cute. I mean, this is this is a very nice sort of cute image, isn't it? That, that I approve of dramatically. Dramatically? Is that the word? I'm not entirely sure it is. Time to fire some engines. I am actually going to do this myself. There we go. Wait for, I'm going to wait for it to go past. I'm going to fire the engines. There we go. Right. What's it saying? That is cool. I mean, that is just a cool image, isn't it? That is just cool. Um, 43 seconds of burning. This is a long one, isn't it? Burn time. You can see at the bottom there. Unfortunately, if you put it on the planet, you can't see it very well. Um, it's going to use up a half of our delta V, is it? It doesn't really tell you the delta V. Oh, there it goes. It tells you there. Eight, 821, was that? 821? I'm sure it used to be on 900 in, in KSP1. So have they changed the size of it? Was that just because I was in higher orbit? There we go. There's, there's, the, uh, there's the craft of, of interest. How exciting. So I am in the right place, aren't I? Yeah, we're on the maneuver node. So you'd actually hold on the maneuver node, I suppose. We haven't introduced training. We haven't introduced anything yet. So, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be a bit different. Oh, now, Del V's coming back a bit. Mm -hmm. Do I try and put it into orbit around the moon is the question. I'm quite tempted to. I am quite tempted to. Just like, this is definitely not a Saturn uh, 2B now. Oh, dear. Uh, might have gone too far. Whoopsies. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, hold on a second. It doesn't do like a thing and tell you that it's in the red. Does it? Oh, it really doesn't. So is that okay? What we've learned is that you have to be careful because it's not going to tell you that you've actually got to it. You can get distracted. It doesn't have like a, a thing where it goes, you know, you have, um, you've got, an, do I have an interaction there? Am I, have I got an interaction? Okay, it's a flyby then. First mission is going to be a flyby. Oh, that's the pause button, is it? And then if I do speedy up, does it? Oh, there's the speedy up mode. Oh, that's that's much better. So th what is this? What is these ones? That must be where I am and that's where I can go to. Ah, I see. So as I get further away, I can, I can speed up more or less. I see. Okay, probably should have done the tutorials. Right, um, now this is interesting, coming in to the sphere of influence. There we go, here we go, okay. Oh, we're in the sphere of influence. They're going to all the way down to one time speed, and let's uh, have a look at the craft. Hi, craft. Hi, team. How are we doing? Where's the Where's the moon gone? We're looking good there, but I can't find the moon. Where's the moon? Has anybody seen the moon? Oh, there it is. Hello, moon. So can we get this thing into uh, a closer approach? Could we? Could we do a little... Uh, create maneuver plan. If we just do a little, how much is it to stop this thing? How much is it to capture? 
Right, that's uh, that's two hundred and sixty. I could, ooh, I could do a, I could do that, couldn't I? Yeah, I could, but we actually need to, um, we need to go home. So we're gonna we're gonna calculate a home route, I think. So we'll add hello, hello. So we're gonna there. No, I'm. Well, let me do. Let me. Right, I want to put it there. Thank you. I see what they've done, but I don't like it the way they've done it um, because I want to know my periaps, but it won't tell me. It's almost like you have to fly it before you know it, um, which is maybe just me being picky. But anyway, let's uh, let's have a look. That's going to be a hundred and something, so we can have a look at the beautiful moon moon that we've got visible somewhere. I've lost it again. Where where are you? Where are you? There's the sun, which is beautiful. The moon is, there it is, there's the moon. Okay, how lovely is that? Oh, that is lovely. Right, let's get, let's get going. Um, we're gonna do a little tiny burn and then we're gonna try and bring this thing into the atmosphere for our first safe return. And this is probably gonna be a terrible mission an absolutely terrible. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, We'll just fire some engines and I'm watching this. Now I'm watching this because the problem was when we we're going to orbit, you couldn't really see it very easily. There we go. Okay, so let's have a look what it's done to us on the old map screen. Uh, it says we're going to crash. Okay, I do not have a problem with that. Right, so you can't do RCS while you're in time warp, you, but you can do rockety fire. Is that right? Hold on a second. Why is my... That's interesting. My periaps is changing. Let me just turn the RCS off. Yeah, there is movement of the periaps there. That's interesting. It's sort of creeping, isn't it? Is that just because stuff and things? That'd be interesting to find out. So next thought, uh, put ourselves in retrograde. Thank you. And then we're just going to uh, do a little tap on the engines. There we go. We're just going to bring that down. We can actually go back to the, to the main screen now. Do a little tiny tap with a tiny, tiny tap of engines. Bring it down to, is that, that must be curbing. We're going to bring it down to, ooh, 60. 60, I think, is probably a good idea. And then we shall um, get this thing back to curbing. And that'll probably be our first mission done. Nice, easy one. Just fly around to pass the moon. Or more importantly, land a rocket. I think it's probably the right one. Take it down to 42. 42. There we go. I miss having the thing at the top because I don't like looking down the bottom left-hand corner. It's sort of natural, but eh, we'll get used to it, I suppose. Let's do a little bit. I like the speeding up while doing stuff, though. I quite like that. That's a positive. Oh, you know what? It's because it's almost like physical time warp, isn't it? So it's actually probably going to let me go in at speed because it will pull that top limit down. The top limit on there will actually be pulled down, which is sort of logical. Right, there we go. 100. Is it going to reset it on atmospheric interface? Oh, it's not. Approaching curbing. Okay. Go to normal there. Decouple. Okay. That's cool. What have I just lost? What just happened there? What are they? Something fell off. What fell off? We have got a lot of velocity. Where's my velocity? We've got 30. So uh, we're going to we're gonna speed this up a bit. So we've got, uh, what's that? Four times. Yeah. Four times, because four times best. Now, I do believe there are no uh, re-entry um, graphics. We didn't do an EVA. We didn't do anything. We just flew the craft. That's a good start, I think. Um, but I think we need to go bigger and better next time. I think it'd be better if we went a lot bigger, in fact. It does seem a little wobbly. Um, the manoeuvre sort of planning and stuff is a little bit janky still. I don't know. Uh-oh. Are we coming back up? Oh, dear. Wasn't deep enough to capture. That's interesting. Well, I guess we're going to go around again. Yeah, that, that was an interesting re-entry situation. I do like the planet. Looks looks really cool. Um, is it? The, yeah, it looks as though it should be the same, shouldn't it? Mm. Loving the, uh, the the skybox. Really cool. Just because we can. Can we... Hi, how... Oh, there's, there, there's a monoprop on this. Oh, now I didn't know there was. The vehicle is out of fuel. You can no longer change its course. I know that. Uh, let go of space. Can I go up and down? Okay, can I can I do like anything? Or you just have a jetpack? The vehicle's out of fuel, you can no longer change its course. Okay, got that. I don't know who you are. I don't know why you're involving yourself in this whole process, but okay. You know, we, we are aware of the situation. Stuff happens, stuff and things. 
That's all I'm saying. We are approaching t Kerbal. The time warp has been reduced because we've hit the atmosphere. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna file through it now. Uh, we're going to go on for three days, four hours and thirty six minutes. That's um, that's interesting, isn't it? Right, team, are you ready? I mean, could you jump out? Have you got? Because time warp isn't not right. So if I slow you down, can I can I actually get you out? Um, what speed are we at? We are still going at quite a quite a few knots. We don't have we don't have atmospheric heating effects, which is really throwing me off. There we go. Right, can I deploy a parachute? There we go. Wonderful. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Right, we're just going to ride this in now. Can I do speedy up a bit? Yeah, let's do speedy up a bit. Fast, fast fall through the atmosphere. Let's get a look at the parachutes if they open. When they open. Because they're bound to open soon. Will be opening very soon. Very soon. Like, very soon. Wow, that was late. That felt... Oh, you can hear me clicking the speedy up button. Right, there we go. That's cool. Can I go faster? Nope, I think that's about as fast as we can go. Is it going to blow blow up when it hits the water? That's the big question. I don't know. Oh, the water looks quite good. Oh, it's got like flotsam and jetsam appearance on the top of it. I wish you could. You know what? I may have to turn off the clicky noise when I'm hitting it. Oh, we have butter pause. Oh, because that is pause. You can actually go into pause now, can't you? Oh, that's interesting. Right, we're going to hit the water. The water looks f good. It actually had a little bit of a, an odd look higher up, but there we go. Going in and... Well, that splash was in the wrong place, wasn't it? Um, it's gone in at a funny angle and it won't go off now. Is that because it's got an off center center of mass that I don't know about? How do I end this? Recover vessel. There we go. Re confirm the recovery. Thank you. So if that was good for you, check out on the screen right now some links you can see other videos you might like. Check out the channel, see if there's any playlists you like. There's also some links to other content creators there you might like. Or leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, do all those things.